The True Story of an American Ninja. Bloodsport on 4K was sent to me by my friend Paige. This is a firm favourite of mine. It may not be Van Damme's best, but it is my personal favourite Van Damme movie. I love the simplicity of the story. Now it's based on a true story. <laughs> I suppose um, there is more to it and it's been kind of Hollywoodized in this version but I, I love the simplicity of a man going to an underground fighting competition to honour his sensei and uh, there's a really bad guy who's killing everybody and he has to kind of stand up, fight the good fight and hopefully win out. Sim simplicity at its heart of it. We just get a, a tournament where there doesn't really need to be convoluted excuses to throw in action set pieces. We are there to see a fight. The characters are there to fight or to watch a fight. Let the carnage begin. And it's just so much fun. And even though we have these um, fighters there, there is a sense of identity of each of them. They have a characteristic that makes them stand out. They don't just meld into one another. They have um, their own idiosyncrasies, which I really kind of enjoyed. Of course, we get a wonderful bad guy in the form of Bolo Young, whom this was the first movie I, I really sat up and took notice of him. He is a terrific bad guy. Absolutely one to root against in this film. And this... 80s centric movie is so 80s it's ridiculous and this time watching it I really kind of had a good laugh with how tropey it was, how it has these 80s rock songs that are pretty much commenting on the scene that it's playing over. It's laugh out loud funny, it's ridiculously cheesy and it is incredibly fitting for this one. As your friend. I think Van Damme is really kind of fun in the movie. He shows that he's got some charisma. He shows that he's got a great deal of skill. And when it gets to the fighting set pieces, they are energetic. They are fun. They are varied and exciting. And even though you can see the plot points and where we are and where we're headed to, it doesn't matter because these fight sequences are exhilarating, they are frequent, we are supported throughout the film with a fun uh, level of B characters that all offer something. Even the kind of interpreter that they have is just a kind of fun, quirky character. The, the rushed love story, which again, I'm not a particular fan of, but it's not egregious. Doesn't make me hate the film. The 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 city man that he um, joins forces with, uh, which I just think is the guy from Revenge of the Nerds. <laughs> it's cheesy. It's over the top. It's typical, but it doesn't matter. This movie uh, it could be a case of just unabashed loved for this one. It could be the fact that I just utterly love this film. I can't objectively tear it apart because even the silly parts, the tropey parts, uh, the parts that are ill-fitting make it as wonderful to me as what it is. And in 4K, this was tremendous. Bloodsport is just fun. Such a fun action film. Um, one of Van Damme's best, in my opinion. And at 92 minutes, it doesn't outstay its welcome. In fact, I would love to have seen more of Frank Ducks coming back to this tournament again. Because um, it's just... It's, it's incredibly entertaining and endearing. Uh, <laughs> I would love to know what you think of this film because Bloodsport for me has always been there uh, from er my early ages watching this and enjoying it and going through it. Uh, even in my later life, I use a lot of gifts from this movie, um, just general chit-chatting with people, particularly when I've watched something awful where I always use this one.
but there's more than that in there as well. The, the, the prolonged yells as he slow motion punches somebody is just chef's kiss perfection. I, I, I can't fault it. Is that a perfect movie? No, absolutely not. That has lots of faults. Do I care? No, it's just a movie that I enjoy immensely. I will always enjoy. And now I have it in 4K, I can enjoy it in the highest quality. <laughs> I love the film. I would love to know your thoughts on Bloodsport. Hey, if you don't like it, that's cool. Doesn't waste my enjoyment. But drop your comments in the comment box below about why you don't or why you do like it. Uh, how many times you've seen it or is it something you're just curious about checking out? Uh, I can't wait to read your comments on one of my personal favourite films. As always, there is more content up here where you can see more of my stuff. In the description box below are links to the Patreon, the membership programme and manvfilm.com always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.